Alright guys, welcome back to the Dragon Ball Z uh, Metal video. Uh, we got the news for the LR EZA um, uh, STR UI Goku here. Um, looks really, really good, we got that. We have news for the new story events that are coming, news for a new hard difficult content called Supreme Battle Spectacle Dragon Ball Super, and a little bit of uh, the breakdown for what it is. But, uh, let's just quickly go ahead and start for uh, Goku. That's like the big thing you're clicking on for this. This is also what I was interested in. Um, so, with Leader Shield bumped up to 4 key 150 or uh, Super STR 4 key 100%. Uh, but the biggest thing is, like I said, they need this. And this is exactly what I said 20% here, 50% here. So, 20% attack defense for one turn, Civil Enemies Guard, Miss uh, Colossal Damage to Enemy, and Great Lower Defense. And then it's 18 key. The Great Lip raises the attack for one turn. Disables enemy guard, causes a mega colossal enemy, and this is new. 50% attack for one turn, so he'll be a slot 1 esque um, unit you put him up there. Um, his new passive skill, this bumped up, I think, what, 100% pretty much? That was just way more than I thought it was going to be, but I'll, I'll take it. 177% uh, attack and defense. He gets 4 key and a great chance of enemy attack, so it's 7% chance to dodge. Uh, including super attack for 7 turns, start a turn, and then uh, 50%. Um, starting with 8th turn. Fading gets an additional 7% chance to dodge before receiving an attack per receiver of 7 category ally attack in the same turn um, besides himself. So that's 14% more um, dodge chance. He then get an additional 77% defense starting from the turn in which the carrier evades an attack during battle. And an additional 77% attack starting from the turn in which the carrier evades an attack. Uh, the enemy's first attack during battle, so you put him in slot 1, he'll get both these buffs. And then instantly, straight away, do him. Um, and then, from that, he's an additional key plus 1 up to 7. 11% attack and defense up to 77% with each attack evaded. And, um, oh, it's not here. They didn't put it here. Um, this is the incorrect translation, actually. This, there we go, there we go. Um, here it is. Yeah, so 11% attack and defense to transforming a critical hit up plus 11% up to 77% when he attack evaded. So every time he evades an attack, he'll get one key and 11% attack and defense and a chance to perform a critical hit. So one key built up, seven dodges, you get seven key and a 77% chance to crit and a 77% to attack and defense, which is phenomenal. So you, you dot like that first, like face, say, like, um, uh, if you can demolish it, he'll, he'll do like four or five easy slot one. You already get a, a high chance to crit turn one, slot one. And you get both these buffs automatically from that. Like, he's looking good. He's looking really, really good. And his stats are amazing, too. But, um, let's, let's go through these calcs real fast. Someone did, went ahead and did it for us. So, this is what he'll look like. So, turn one, four dodges before attacking. That's what it looked like. So we'll start off with 220 right here. The four dodges get up to 489. His first super will be 734, 734,000, and then go into 844,000. His second super starts off with 881 into 1,013,000 defense. This is turn one, with only four super attacks and two supers done. His attack stat will be 20 million first super. The second super is 12 million, which is ludicrous. That is insane. Now we're looking at turn 3, this is fully built up, start in turn 563,000 defense. He'll be with one super attack at 844,000, and at the second super, 1,013,000. His uh, attack sale will be 24 million into a 14 million, which is also insane. And then this is the juice rotation, turn 5, fully built up, plus the droid effect, plus um, S, uh, Burger King Goku is active, and 50% support from um, Kappa here. Startup turn, 812,000 defense. First super, 1.113 million. And then second super, 1.29 million defense. His super attack will hit for 34.5 million, and the second being 21.5. Like, that's fucking insane. Like, this guy looks... He, he looks genuinely very, very good. Like, that's genuinely amazing. Like... This guy, if, if AGO UI Goku gets the EZA, man, 
this dude is going to be bobbing and weaving, making no damage, he will not get touched, and he will rape. Like, when I say this, you probably aren't thinking about it, but like, Fuden Zamasu, that last phase is fizz. This guy, with that 77% chance to crit and all that numbers, is going to eviscerate his asshole. Not only is he going to bob and weave all of his attacks, his super attack and shit, but then he's going to absolutely annihilate Fusion Zamasu. So, um, this is... Um... Extremely good, extremely, extremely good. This is awesome. What the... Oh. I don't know why I did that. Whatever. Um, yeah. So, uh, awesome. This is phenomenal. But, uh, we're just going to hop in here. So that was the big stuff. If you wanted that, you can click off now. There you go. That's the information, the stats, uh, and his, uh, his passive update. Now we're going into the new free-to-play events here. So we have a free-to-play Beerus um, event here with this new Beerus card and the new Frieza, which is asset that's actually been in the game for a long time. But it's finally getting implemented into this card. So it's an int and a physical Beerus, which is interesting because every, almost every Beerus is physical now. Um... But it's, it's very possible that one of these two is the free-to-play LR, and I'm leaning more towards this Beerus being the card. Um, uh, simply just because it, it kind of makes sense. They, they, they threw a lot of like Beerus-related stuff at us for like, the, tr the promos and the trailers for the movies. So um, I... I Think he'll be the LR, and he'll just do kind of weaken into a TUR and get easy aid. But um, this could be a really cool. I, I can see some. Um, I don't know, does anyone have some pretty cool ideas in here? Oh, weeks of immediate easy aid on release. Yeah, that is true. The leader skills. It's thirty percent, right? Yeah, they're both thirty percent. Yeah, they do kind of reek of easy aid, but uh, hopefully not. I hope they save the easy aid so they make them good. But um, yeah, he could be interesting. I think both of these could be cool. I, I'd love to have a free play leader as LR. That'd be that'd be awesome, dude. I, I love I love beers, man. Get some beers to love up in here. Um, and then of course the biggest thing, well, I guess besides um, of course his EZA, is the new quote unquote uh, blue zone, which what I'll, which is basically what I'll call it. Well, it's, it's called the Supreme Battle Spectacle Dragon Ball Super. So we can expect more of these in the future. So it's the way it's worded. It's like um, the Ultimate Red Zone, the movie edition. So you know, like we have like the Red Ribbon Army edition, um, the G we, we could get GT, but the Red Ribbon edition, the Android edition, stuff like that. It's worded in the same way, so we could possibly get something like the Z, uh, Dragon Ball Z, or like GT, stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so, it's interesting. But the more translated version here is, So a new extremely difficult event, Supreme Battle Spectacle, will be held soon. With the, win the epic battle with Super Warriors and Grab the Glory. In this event, when you clear all the specific missions that will be added one after another, it is possible to obtain a unique title, which is a special title. Also, a uh, special support memory, Scattered Superhero, is now available. During the 9th anniversary period, support by clearing all the stages that will be added sequentially, let's complete the memory. Scattering Superheroes will become usable when you collect 100 in addition to the spectacle ticket and Dragon Snow can be obtained as mission rewards. Uh, please look forward to the new event. Please note that the event could not content and period or something to change without notice and the continuing support of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Okay. This is jamming too scene, bro. That would be really nice, actually. That'd, that'd be cool. But yeah, so it's, it'll be, so this is like the quote-unquote blue zone, so this will be fighting hero, um, we'll be fighting uh, hero bosses, which is awesome, because there's so many enemies, or I guess villains we have, the cards that just have, like, uh, hero conditions for enemies, but, like, we never had them besides, like, the new, like, Mortal Will and God event, with, like, the Trunks and, um, Vegeta Blue, but, like, they're not, like, real, like, they're really hard, but, like, they're not bosses, like, actual, like, red zone bosses, or if that makes sense, you know, I think you know, you know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, this is this is huge, man. I I really look forward to seeing what this happens. Um, I actually picked up a, a, my uh, old JP account. It's it's, not, it's only like rank 100 or something. It's not my original one, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna multitask that with my actual main global, uh, for the celebrations here, so I can uh, see if I can maybe pull them or something. But I've been doing that at night, trying to grind up the Dokkan events, which is which is funny, because like, yeah, going to that the early account again. Dokkan events are actually hard. They don't have awakened units, so um. It's, it's fun to be able to go back to that time, I guess, when I was an uh, early account. But, um, yeah, that's, that's all the information. Um, this could be really, really cool. I'm, I'm excited to see what uh, they throw in here with the bosses, the characters they throw in, their mechanic and stuff. Um, but yeah. Uh, this, this, will be, this will be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. But um, let me uh, know what your opinions are. Uh, how good you think this guy is, how bad you think he might be, what your opinion is. 
But, um, yeah. Uh, hopefully, the uh, information helped you. And look forward to the ninth anniversary. It looks like it's really be really cool. There's a lot of good stuff. This could be good on history. is like the greatest uh, anniversary ever. Greatest celebration. But, um, yeah, I'll leave that for you. And, as always, take care. Have a good one. And, bye, guys.